What's going on everybody? Brandon here back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. In front of us, 12 inch Spin Master figures. We have an all new Black Adam. This is a Rebirth style Black Adam or New 52 Black Adam from Spin Master. Looks fantastic. I do have some movie figures that we haven't had a chance to take a look at yet here on the channel. Dr. Fate, huge shout out to my buddy Brandon for finding me that one. Cyclone took forever and I found her at Target. Adam Smasher I have had for a while and have had no Black Adam figures to review them with. So here we go, you guys. Really exciting in front of us. Um, Dr. Fate, oh my gosh. As far as I could search, high, wide, low, nothing would work. This guy was nowhere to be found. Let me know if you find Dr. Fate in your area. Maybe he's peg warming on some shelves in some states and in some states he's completely absent. Very similarly with Cyclone, I did end up finding her at Target, but definitely a tough one to find for sure. Here is the UPC if you need it. Black Adam was a very interesting one. I found this guy on Amazon. Tons of new Batman stuff dropped for Spin Master. Looks like Black Adam was the only one that we got for DC uh, Heroes, DC Superheroes line. And so they have removed all of the plastic from the packaging. So that is cool. We have some box art here that looks fantastic. First edition. Uh, all in all, it looks really good, you guys. I still don't know why we don't have a 12-inch green lantern. That is beyond me. Uh, the rest of the figures are ones that we've had for years. Here is the UPC if you need it. Again, it was like $10.99 or, I don't know, $11.99. So I got one to rock, one to stock, of course, on that Black Adam. He looks fantastic. I'll be taking one of those out of the packaging and leaving one in. Adam Smasher, a fantastic design. Very much reminds me of Jeff Johns and his run on the JSA. And of course, Black Adam and Adam Smasher are best buds. So it'll be cool to have them on the shelf together. All right, we're going to get these toys out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stay All right, we got our figures out of the packaging and they look fantastic. Let's dive on in and take a closer look. All right, you guys, first up, taking a look at Dr. Fate. Again, a massive shout out to my friend Brandon who helped me find this. This was an incredibly tough figure to find. All in all, I really, really do like this a lot. Look at the detail work in that helmet. That's incredible. Look at the little cracks and blemishes, the paint work. This is a fantastic figure. If you're a Dr. Fate fan, to see this guy become realized on the big screen is uh, no small feat, that's for sure. I really do like this. Should be ears there. There isn't with this figure. That's okay. Um, his costume does morph, so you can see like this cape area has come out. This side of the helmet is different from this side. So they have tried to capture it pretty well. The belt piece is very nice. The arms don't really have any detail work for the gloves. It's just painted gold. That's okay. The boots are nice. There is some really cool marbleization happening there at the bottom of the feet, so I definitely like that. And on the back side, nothing crazy here, but it is simple, simple enough, and it does work. It looks like details were not left out from the belt. And there is the back of the boots. The cape is nice and shiny. It's not true cloth, but man, does it work well for this gold on this figure. Fantastic. And all in all, you guys, I really like this one a lot. Um, for his articulation, moving in the head side to side, he can look up a little bit and down just a tad. His arms come out about that far. Forward and back, full 360, bend, twist at the elbows, full wrist articulation. I just noticed we have uh, gold on this shoulder and not on this shoulder, so this costume is definitely morphing. <laughs> it looks fantastic. The leg comes out about that far, forward, doesn't really go back too much, and there is a ratchet bend at the knee. Not too bad. All in all, a fantastic Dr. Fate figure. All right, here is Cyclone Quintessa Swindell. They did a phenomenal job capturing the likeness of the actress. Absolutely incredible. There's tons of detail and paint work on her hair, so that's fantastic. And all in all, you guys, this sculpt is incredible. We have some extra detailing down here with paint for the pants. Um, you can see all of the detail work that went into her costume. So they really spared no expense with this one. Um, that is fantastic. Even in the boots, you guys, this is, this is great. A really, really well done figure. Very well made. I'm going to see if I can turn her head so you can see. Okay, so there's nothing really happening back there. But the rest of the costume design 
is all there. So that is really good, you guys. Cyclone, a fantastic figure with her articulation. Of course, hindered by her hair, but she can move left and right a little bit. Her arms are hindered by the shoulders. So they can't really go up, but they could go out like this. So that's not too bad. The elbows have a bend and twist. Not too bad. Full wrist articulation. Nothing in the waist. Her legs come out about that far forward about that far they don't really go back and there's a ratchet bend at the knee all in all you guys cyclone a fantastic figure super excited and happy to have her in the collection next our comic book based black adam this is the rebirth or new 52 style of black adam he looks absolutely fantastic we can see that he does have his pointy ears he does have some pretty serious eyebrows He's got a very nice grin. And all in all, this guy just looks really good. The lightning bolt is backwards for some reason. Maybe they made him anti-Shazam and that was Spin Master's spin on it. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. The wrist gauntlets might be new. Uh, for some reason, we do have a circle here. Even though this chest piece is a new sculpt, the circle is for Shazam. Black Adam's supposed to have a triangle on his belt. Uh, the legs, not sure. I think they're 100% the same as Shazam. And if that's the case, then it looks like he just got a far better paint job. Shazam had the same detailing on his legs, but they just painted it all yellow for some reason. Didn't paint in any of those details white on him. The cape is not a true cloth, but it is nice. It does have a black shine to it, just like uh, Dr. Fate's cape. So that's nice. And on the back side, we can see some more detailing on the belt. And for the most part, this is a pretty simple figure, but it's just a job well done, honestly. He looks mean. He looks tough. He looks strong. I think this is exactly what I wanted for a 12-inch Black Adam, minus that lightning bolt emblem and the belt with the triangle. So, articulation, moving in his head side to side. can look pretty good. Can't really look up or down, though. His arms come out about that far. Forward and back, full 360, bend twist at the elbow uh, full wrist articulation not too bad all in all for the shoulders maybe get him in some good flight poses have him fight shazam looks pretty good yeah not too bad his legs come out about that far forward back back not so much again nothing at the waist uh, and his knee does have the ratchet joint Nothing at the ankles. All in all, you guys, a very cool Black Adam figure. I feel like Spin Master's catering to me. This is really awesome. We still don't have a 12-inch Green Lantern, but we have a 12-inch Black Adam. That's awesome. Next, taking a look at Adam Smasher. He's actually smaller than I thought he would be. Uh, <laughs> not sure why that is. But all in all, a very cool figure. He does have some really nice details on his face that they could have skipped out on, but you can see all of the stitching and all of the work around his eyes. This is supposed to be the classic Golden Age costume, reimagined and brought into the film, uh, but it is supposed to have some mileage on it. You can see that kind of in his gauntlets. Um, yeah, very, very interesting right there. You can see that in his gauntlets. So all in all, not too bad. I really like the detail on this guy. Um, and again, you could definitely just use him as a comic book Adam Smasher, and that would be cool. He does have some very nice details on the bottom of his boots, so that is very much appreciated. And there's the back side of the figure. All in all, he looks really good, you guys. I like this guy a lot. And so if you have a little Adam Smasher, he will definitely fit in great with this one and all of those four-inch Spin Master figures. So articulation moves side to side for the neck. Can't really look up or down. Arms come out only about that far. Forward and back, full 360. Bend, twist at the elbow. Full wrist articulation, no waist articulation. Leg comes out about that far. Forward, doesn't really go back. There's a bend at the knee, that ratchet joint. And that is about it for our Adam Smasher figure. A fantastic one. Very happy to have him in the collection. All right, for comparison, here's our new Black Adam and Black Adam movie figures with some previous figures from the Black Adam movie. And of course, Shazam from Fury of the Gods. These guys look fantastic. Here are the noticeable differences between our new Black Adam and the previous movie version. Everything that's similar about them and everything that's not. It is so cool to see these guys side by side. Shazam looks really good with that Dr. Fate. I think that is absolutely fantastic. All in all, it is just very nice to see a JSA lineup in the 12-inch scale. I think these guys look fantastic together.
Next, for another comparison, here's our new figures with some previous Spin Master comic book figures. These guys look fantastic together. Most notably is the differences between Shazam and Black Adam. We can see Shazam definitely has different gauntlets compared to Black Adam. And we can see that they definitely have the same boots. So the legs are the same. Black Adam's details are painted, whereas Shazam's are not. Ultimately, these figures fit in very well together. And of course, Shazam and Black Adam have those different chest pieces. You will notice that most of the Black Adam movie figures are smaller. So like these guys are definitely more in scale. With Robin, you can see how small Dr. Fate is compared to Batman and Superman. So that is very interesting. Um, ultimately, Superman does fit in nicely with Black Adam and Shazam. I just feel like his head sculpt for some reason is just not on par with Shazam and Black Adams. So all in all, very interesting. And overall, these guys do fit in well together. And for a quick comparison with some four inch counterparts, these guys look fantastic together. Adam Smasher fits in very well with the four inch scale. I'm pretty impressed there. That looks fantastic. Here's what the little Adam Smasher looks like. So definitely awesome. Um, there is Cyclone with her smaller counterpart. You can see that they fit in together very, very nicely. And uh, there's Black Adam. We need a new comic book Black Adam in the four inch scale. Fingers crossed we get one of those soon. And Dr. Fate looks exactly the same as his 12 inch counterpart. So all in all, these guys look fantastic together. Very happy to have them in the collection. For one more quick comparison, here is the McFarlane mega figure, Adam Smasher. Next to the 12 inch one from Spin Master, they're almost the exact same height. Of course, McFarlane has way more detail on his figure compared to the Spin Master one, but they're almost, almost the same height. So if you happen to be wondering which one to get or which one's taller, almost the same. All in all, though, they fit in pretty well. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. 12-inch scale from the Black Adam movie, Dr. Fate, Cyclone, and Adam Smasher. And, of course, we have our new comic book 12-inch Black Adam figure in his Rebirth style or New 52 style. So happy to have these in the collection. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're going to pick up or pass on these, you can find most of them for 10 to 12 bucks at Target or Walmart. Uh, again, Dr. Fate, Cyclone are tough to find and our new black adam comes from amazon so very interesting very excited and happy to have these figures let me know your thoughts if you're going to pick up or pass on these what you're finding in your local areas and online i would love to hear from you you guys have likes comments shares subscriptions all of the support on the channel it's been phenomenal thank you each and every one of you i greatly appreciate the support keep it right here at my channel as i find more new cool and awesome stuff i'll be sure to bring it to you here once again i'm brandon thanks for watching